Can you say that again? What are your early memories of this rivalry well before you came here? Um, early memories, um, I can just remember from every year that this was a really big game um, for Michigan and a game that, you know, Michigan always wanted to play. Shay was talking about last year at the end of that game, standing on the sideline next to you talking about we're going to come back and get one more shot. What, what do you remember about that feeling at the end of that game last year? Um, I remember losing. I remember um, having the feelings that are associated with a loss. Um, and I, I do remember that conversation. Um, but yeah, now we have the opportunity to use that this year. Um, so yeah. What was Shade like in that moment? Uh, you no, know, everybody was. Um, Kind of upset that we had, had lost the game. So, is Shea being undefeated at, at home? I mean, is there a little bit more of a comfortability factor with with the offense when when you guys are at home? Um, I'm not sure. I would call it that. Um, you know, I feel like we're comfortable every game. Um, much more confidence do you have as a group now that uh, the offense has been kind of rolling? Uh, confidence has been increasing. Um, feel good out there. Feel good playing with the guys. Um, everybody's contributing. Um, so that's always good. Was there anything that everyone kind of points to that second half of the Penn State game? Was, was, was there anything that kind of you can ascribe that to as to why that confidence has increased? Uh, I've just been executing better. It's not any magic, you know, potion or anything. How much do you know and how do you feel about uh, Ohio State's defensive backs? Obviously, they got a pretty highly touted group. How do you feel about you know facing off them, you and, and the rest of the receivers as well? Uh, yeah, watching watching film, um, they're a great group. Um, defensively, they're a great group. Um, I feel like we're a good group. Um, so, you know, it's going to be a competitive game, something that we look forward to. Do you, do you know those guys at all? I think they're the same graduating classes. You all highly rated guys in All-American games, anything like that? I forget if you know. I met Kuda. a few of them in the past. Yeah, not, not well, though. Have you been on a team here that had six, seven receivers like this team see, seems to have? Like your depth, have you had this kind of depth at receiver since you've been at Michigan? In terms of playing with Having six other guys? Having four, five, six, seven guys that make plays, I don't, doesn't seem like they that went that deep at receiver in the past. Um, I mean, we've always had a group of 10 receivers every year, um, but it does help to have other guys who are out there competing and making plays, you know. Sometimes you look back, um, you know, and you didn't get the ball, and you can see Nico running, and nobody's catching him. <laughs> that always feels good. So. Coach Harbaugh said yesterday that you're catching the ball the best you have in a Michigan uniform. Can you attribute that to anything specifically? Or? Uh, yeah, the online is giving Shea ample time to deliver some of the best throws that he's ever made. Can you say some of the best throws he's ever made? What, what are you seeing from Shea maybe with? How have you seen you maybe take it up a level in the last couple of weeks? Uh, just playing real confident, trusting us, um, trusting himself, most importantly. Um, he's been getting great O-line play, which makes it you know, way easier for him to deliver. It's perfect ball. You mentioned Nico, you know, having that opportunity to, you know, like you seem to celebrate a lot more, especially this past uh, game, holding up a number three when he got his th third one. What, how does it, what does it mean to you to see him have that type of success? Oh, it's just fun. Um, me and him are always together here, outside of here, um, and just to see him running down, like knowing no one's gonna catch him, it's just it's, it's fun, you know. And I'm proud of him. Um, it's it's just a blessing to see, you know. Got time for a couple more. Nick Eubanks said that people may not see it from Nico, but he's sort of a mean guy on the field. Like he's going to get what he wants. Do you do you see that in practice? Like if it's blocking or, or going up and getting the 50 50 balls? Yeah, he's, um, yeah. I mean, he's a big guy, strong guy. Um, when he gets the ball in his hands, um, you know, he's real physical, um, as he should be. Um, so, yeah, on the field, yeah, you got to kind of turn on that switch. Do you have that switch too? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What was it like for the receiver group this week with Ronnie getting his first touchdown of the year? Uh, that was that was very exciting, very exciting to see him do that. He's been playing well all year. Um, to be credited with a touchdown, I know that 
that makes him feel good. Was that a was were you was there any were you trying were you guys trying to get that for him this week? It kind of looked like that was a very specific play for him to get in the end zone. Was that just how it got dialed up? Uh, I mean, it just got dialed up that way. Mm -hmm. You know, we're not really trying to get anybody the ball in particular. Just trying to execute um, as an offense together. Last question. Is the revenge tour hat a conscious choice, or did you just put on a random hat today? I don't know. This is, this is a normal, regular blue hat. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> All right.